Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be creating this dramatic, bold, but matte look. I created this look very simple, very easy. I know it might look hard, but it's super easy to recreate. If you know how to do a cut crease, which everybody knows how to do one nowadays, then this look should be pretty simple for you. Without further ado, let's get started. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Okay, so I'm gonna begin moisturizing my face. I just recently washed it. I'll be using this L'Oreal moisturizer like because it has a gel consistency instead of a cream. And I really do think it helps me from breaking out. Now I'm gonna go in with primer. I'll be using the Hourglass Bell Primer. So what is up, guys? How has things been going? I swear. It's almost 2018. Have you guys really thought about that? I, it's, sometimes when I think about it, I just feel like, whoa, it, it has really gone by way too fast. Like, please slow down. I need, I need just a second. I don't know. I feel like it's good. I feel like a lot of great things are going to happen in 2018. So I'm just kind of all here for it, you know, just ready for it to happen. I think that this year for me was a learning year. So many things happened this year, you know, good and bad. And I feel like I have just been preparing for the new year to come. So 2018, it's going to be something serious. The foundation I'm using today is the Huda Beauty Foundation. Of course, I have been obsessed with this foundation for a minute now. I really need to clean my brushes. It's to that point where it's kind of getting ridiculous. That's the hardest part about makeup is, I swear, is cleaning the brushes. That, ugh. Comment down below for me what you plan to work on in the new year. In 2018, I'll be 25. Oh my gosh. So I'm just going in with my Tarte Shape Tape right now under the eye area. I'm gonna kind of tap that out, but then I'm not gonna tap it out all the way because I kind of want it to dry a little bit. I feel like that that's gonna give me that better coverage that I want. So while that kind of dries a little bit, I'm gonna go in and contour my face. And I am just going to blend it out. So now that we have applied all of our concealers and our contour to our face, the cream, we're gonna now go in and set the face. I'm gonna take my Sasha Buttercup under my eyes. Now we're going to leave this under our eyes because we're going to do our eye makeup and any of the fallout, it's going to be able to catch it. These loose setting powders are so messy. Oh my gosh, they just really get on my nerves. Like I try to clean out my whole desk and every time it just... Everywhere. So now I'm going to go in and contour out my face with some powder and I'm going to use my Morphe M527 brush. I love this brush because it's big and fluffy. I'm going to be using my Black Up powder to do this. Also with keeping that setting powder under the eyes, you kind of know where to go with your contour powder. You won't go too high because you know like, okay, this is my under eye area and we're going to keep that where it's at, you know? So I'm going to take a little bit.
is going to give me that chiseled look. Okay, so now let's move on to the brows and the eyes. Okay, so now that I've finished my brows, I'm going to take concealer and I'm going to apply that uh -oh, to my lid area. And I'm going to take my beauty blender and I am just going to kind of squeeze it and tap this out. So now I'm going to scoot a little bit closer so that we can actually play with the eyes and you'll be able to see. Today I'm going to be using the Morphe palette. So first I'm going to start off with the color called Bro, I believe it is. This color right here. I'm going to dust that in the color. So for this dramatic look that I'm going to be doing today, I'm going to be using my MAC Select Cover Up with my MAC 242 brush. setting powder down the nose as well. This is just like helping clean it up. I'm gonna go in with some mascara. And I'm going to coat my lashes. I'm gonna take my Huda Beauty Lash Glue with my Miss Lashes. I think these are 302 A's. They're like a pretty lash, they're like my favorite. While my nose sets a little bit, I'm going to go in and finish up my eyes. I'm going to take that red color that I use called Fire. I'm going to pop it just a little bit with this color right here, the color called Zodiac. We're just going to erase this really quickly. Then we're going to go in and apply some mascara. We're just going to finish up by going in and applying some highlighter. We're using that Lancome Dual Finish Highlighter. I feel like I've been using this for a minute now. This has been my little go-to. So I can't finish off this look without applying a nude lip. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to apply an Ashton. It is like my favorite nude for dark skin. That's a liquid lip.
Alright guys, so here is the final look. I hope you guys like this look, this very bold, dramatic, but still kind of fall look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave me some smiley faces in the comment section box down below. I love you guys so much and I thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!